Today, I'm going to show you how to create Newt's Commander's Eye Drops for Moon Calves. Okay, to make our moon calf eye drops, we will need one glass bottle, and this is a recycled bottle that I had. Um, it is brown because that would be the color that Newt used in the movie. And then I replaced the screw top with a cork. We will need some rubbing alcohol, some jute twine, a funnel to help with the filling, some metallic white paint, some brown acrylic paint, and an optional metallic brown acrylic paint. We will need a foam brush. And then we will also need a turkey baster. And I am using um, this one that was metal and has this nice top on it. I feel like we can make it look very similar to the one that's in the movie. And finally, our label printed on sticker paper. And the link for this is in the description down below. Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we are going to kind of age our um, turkey baster, which is going to become our eyedropper. And the best way to do that is just with some paint. So I am going to use some brown acrylic paint. And just a tiny bit of the brown metallic paint. And then we're going to take our foam brush and we are going to paint our eyedropper. So I'm just going to kind of dry brush this on and I don't want it to completely cover it. I just want to give it more of an aged look and make it look like something more from the 20s versus now. Okay, so as you can see, after I just went around and kind of dry sponged the brown on, we get a really great aged look and it looks like it's a little bit more from the 20s versus now. So now we're going to age up the metal part. So on the top, I only used the matte brown finish. I didn't do any of the metallic, but I am going to mix just a little bit of the metallic down here so it keeps its metal quality. As you can see, we have a really great aged look on it, but you can still tell that it's metal and the top looks a little bit more leathery than it does um, rubber. Now, if you are going to be handling this a lot, like say you're going to use it for a cosplay costume or something like that, I highly recommend that you do a matte finish um, clear coat over top of this because the paint will want to come off of that rubber area. But if it's just going to be a prop and it's just going to be sitting around, then you don't really need to worry about that. Okay, so while we're waiting for our eyedropper to dry, we're gonna go ahead and fill this with our rubbing alcohol. And then we're going to add a little bit of the um, metallic white because I kind of want it to have a moony, milky look to the actual eye drops since it's for the moon calf. And then we're going to cork this up and shake it up. Okay, and as you can see, we get a really great swirling in there. It's just a little subtle thing. Um, now, the mica in this will settle to the bottom, so it will be clear um, when it's not shaken up. But when it is, it'll have a really great iridescent -y swirl quality to it. Okay, and then we're going to take our label print it on sticker paper, or you can use regular paper and Mod Podge. And we are going to stick our label onto the bottle. Okay. 
Okay. And then once we do that, we're just going to take this a little step further and we're going to add some jute twine around the neck of the bottle. Okay, so we are just going to wrap the neck of our bottle here. So we're going to do this just like we have other times. We're going to make a loop. And then capture that loop. And then we're going to cut the end. And we're going to put that end through the loop. And then we can pull on the loop. It will tighten up the bottom. Okay. And then we pull the bottom, which will tighten up the top of the loop. And I still want to see some of my cork, so just make sure you have this in position so that you can still see a little bit of the cork. And then just pull until that goes behind our threads and locks it in place. And then we can just cut it flush. And I want to do the same thing here as I've done with some of my other bottles. And I just want to age up the jute twine a little bit more. And we're going to do that with a lighter. So all we're going to do is carefully take your lighter and just go around. And it will burn off some of those little stray strands. And it will darken the jute twine slightly, giving it more of an aged look. Please do this under adult supervision. And there you have it, Newt Scamander's Eye Drops for Moon Calves. This will be a great addition to our potion prop collection we make along the way, or a great addition to a cosplay costume. When I saw this in Crimes of Grindelwald and Newt's Basement, I knew I had to make it. So I hope you guys like this video. If you do, give me the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do so, and we will catch you guys later. Thanks so much.